Okay, today I thought we'd take a look at the giant MR45. As you can see, this thing is huge. The box is even more ridiculously big. Let's look at the size and depth of this sucker. It's like you're buying a refrigerator or something. It, uh, it's the Japanese box, so it's uh, unable for me to tell you anything about it other than the fact that it's an MR45. It takes three D cells in this uh, huge battery controller. It's one of those ones that just has the molded plastic hinge. So that means, you know, you bend it five or six times and it falls apart and you never get to play with it again. Wire's still all wadded up. That was new stock of an old vintage toy. You've got these incredibly uh, dangerous looking missiles. I mean, they're large and they are hard plastic, but they do have rubber tips. And um, you could really put an eye out with these in there. Springs are really taunt on here. So on this four-way joystick control for the robot, you've got a, well, if I move it to the left, my left, it will fire the rockets by rotating the turret. Or if I move it to the right, my right anyway, it will rotate, well, it moves the turret up and down. So that would be the up position. That'd be the down position. So depending on whether you want to take the eye out of the baby in the room or your parents, you adjust it accordingly. And then this one will rotate it and they'll fire. I have no idea what they're going to hit. But they're going to hit something. I don't know how many I want to fire because I certainly don't want to break them. They are, they are hard plastic and right now they're mint. And that one landed without breaking. So the other two functions that you have as moving trunk and moving robot. My moving trunk thing means you can steer the waist movement back and forth. And you don't have a lot of room up here for walking. Well, here, let's fire these other missiles off so I don't break them. Fire them into my hand. Caught, caught two of them, missed one. And I don't want to step on it. There isn't a lot of room up here to walk where I've got this in the demo. I'll try holding it back here and see if you can see. There's your leg movement. You've got this one main motor down here in the base that controls the walking and the arm trimming. Then you have one more motor up in the body which controls the rotating of the turret firing and the up and down. Very huge, you can see I'm in my hand, very huge all plastic robot. At least it looks like I've never had to, but there are screws here and here, so it looks like you could gain access to the uh, back of the robot. I'm not sure if you needed to work on it how you would gain access to, uh, to the lower part. So, there is the giant MR45. You have the one light up in the head, and let's see if there's anything else on the box that you might find interesting. Whoa. Well, it's an ST, trademark, TM, Modern Toys. I guess if you can decipher uh, the Japanese, you can leave comments down below with more information. Made in Japan, of course, but we already knew that. About as minty as mint will ever get. And you may never see another one of these large robots are operating in this kind of condition. So, hope you enjoyed it.